I can't hear you, honey. We can't hear you, sweetheart. Your volume's off. <laughs> I said good evening. I know you under the weather. Thank you for pushing through. Yes, I'm trying to push through. All right, you look ready now. What's your name, baby? I'm ready. My name is Sarita. Sarita, or where are you calling mm -hmm. me from, love? I'm calling from Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, how old are you? I am 42. 42. What do you do for a living? I have, I'm a little baby hustler, so full time I work for United Healthcare. You work for United Healthcare? Okay, United mm -hmm. Healthcare. I have um, a yeah, mobile bartending business. Okay, so you work for bartend. United Healthcare and you also do what else, honey? I bartend. Bartend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what's your zodiac sign, Sarita? I'm a Pisces. Pisces. I got it right here. Oh, <laughs> spicy. So we got Sarita, Raleigh, North Carolina, 42, Pisces. She works for United Healthcare, bartender. Do oh, you have any children? Four. Four kids. How old are your four kids? They are 22, 22, 18, and 10. You have two 22 year old children? Yeah, I have a set of identical twins. Oh, okay, so my twins. first born. All right, so <laughs> twenty-two. And what are the other two ages? Twenty-two, eighteen, and ten. Ten. All by the same man? No, all three different days. All three different days. You mm -hmm. never been married? Never been married. Okay, you never been married. All right, so we got Sarita, Raleigh, North Carolina, forty-two Pisces, United Healthcare. She works for. She also bartends. Mom to four kids by three men. Why did you never get married? I was engaged a couple times. <laughs> well, why didn't it go to marriage? So the first time, I just felt like um, we went different ways. I felt like my my daughter's father at the time, like he kind of like stopped believing in God. So that kind of didn't work for me. Like. No matter what, like you can't stop believing in God. Which which um father was this? The eighteen year old. It was, it was like my second child's father. Okay, so the eighteen year old. That's the, the one that he was engaged to. Yeah, the second and the third. The second <laughs> and third, and the third one. Why didn't y'all get married? That's the ten year old dad, right? Yes, ma'am. Why didn't um, that work? I feel like we had different directions as far as lack of ambition and goals and growth okay you know and yeah all right so we got sarita Raleigh, north carolina 42 pisces works for united healthcare also bartends mom of four kids by three men what kind mm -hmm. of thing for so i really need like the best of both worlds right because even i live in raleigh um i was born and raised in baltimore and so I feel like because of my background, like I need a man that can be a provider, you know? And, um, but also like, I like Southern men cause they are family men, they're kind, they have a different dynamic than the men I'm used to. So I kind of need like a mixture of both, you know? I love the Lord, I plant plants and I smoke weed, you know? I need someone that can understand the balance. You need somebody that can understand the balance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. <coughs> oh, excuse me. What are your deal breakers? Who? Everyone says liar, but I say it even more because I can pick up on liars um, very well. I'm, I'm street smart and book smart. Um. Not having some type of faith. I'm a Christian, but I've dated a Muslim man, right? And even though I may be a Christian and you may be Muslim, like as long as you respect your faith and my faith, like, but you gotta hear something. Can't have nothing. Um, a person that's a provider, but also likes to have fun and can go out to a bar and shoot a game and pool with me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, should, he, should, he, should he look a certain way? I have preferences. So my preference is like brown to crunchy black. What did you say? <laughs> Wait, tell me the preference again. Brown to country black. 
Brown's like country. crunchy black. Okay, Brown's a country black. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, crunchy black. You know, crunchy black from Three Six Mafia. Crunchy black. <laughs> What's his name? Country black. No, right? Crunchy, crunchy black. Um, yeah, Three Six Mafia. He's a, a older rapper, but he's okay. really dark skinned. Really, really, and, really dark. Skin. And his name is Crunchy, Country Black. Crunchy, see, crunchy like a chicken wing, crunchy. <laughs> okay, learning okay. something new over here. Okay, Country Black. What about money? So he make a certain amount of money. So listen, I like working men and people with legal activities. So I would say at least like seventy thousand in the books. You know, like we can grind together. At least 70K and above. And what was the age range you want to date? 38 to 52. 38 to 52. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's do the Kendra camp. Okay. I'm a little itty bitty. I'm only five feet tall. Okay. Oh, okay. Woo. Turn around on her. <laughs> Sarita, when was your last relationship? It was about a year ago. It ended a year and a half ago, okay. approximately. All right, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask, when was the last time you was intimate with someone? About uh, a month and a half ago. Okay, a month and a half ago. Is that guy an option? No. No? You got mm -hmm. some paid questions. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Jihande said, so what type of example do you think that you're setting for your kids, being that you never require marriage from their dads? So I'll give you a rundown since you want to be nosy. My first, um, my twins, it really was just like a, a fling coincidence. It's a whole long story. Re some re I revenge sex and I got pregnant. I never really believed in abortion. So I kept my kids, and that's how that went. Wait, First wait, time, wait, wait. Right? So your twins, mm -hmm. you were in a relationship, and you cheated with the twins' fathers and got pregnant? No, what had happened was I was, you know, in a in a relationship with one, one man, and he had, like, kind of, like, hurt my feelings. I was, like, 18 years old, right? He hurt my feelings. You know, um, he had had a kid, and, like, just like some whole little Christmas shit. He ain't called me on Christmas. So I decided to go, you know, have some fun, you know. And I met a very nice guy. And he took me shopping. And we smoked a whole lot of weed and drank a whole lot of Hennessy for like a whole week. And I got pregnant. So that's what I said. You were with another guy. And then you met the twin's father. Mm -hmm. And you ended up getting pregnant by the twin's father. Mm-hmm. Okay. But we were never in a relationship. I would never be in a relationship with him. Like, I really, that really was some freak shit at that moment. You know, I met him. It was like a week later. Like, but we had a good time. I was 18 and I, you know, was in my feelings. But fast forward, my daughter's father, um, we were friends for two, three years before we got in a relationship. He was like a step dead to my my twins, so it's like a whole like don't get us with our own head, like three major relationships and not a whole lot of people around my kids. So that's how that went. Okay. My All second right. daughter's father passed away from kidney disease. Um and my son, my son's father, my 10 year old's father, he's still in my life. He got a whole wife, he lives on the other side of town. My oldest kids still love him. We good. <coughs> so the 10 year old dad married somebody else. Yes. And I'm glad he did. We were engaged. He is with who he is supposed to be with. She is a wonderful, lovely woman. Okay. And so I and I love I love his wife. And yeah, I'm I'm glad I dodged that bullet. So, Sarita, do you want to get married? Is that a goal for yours? I do, eventually, to the right person. Okay. All right. That's uh, the goal. Okay. Uh, let me see. 
K.A. said, the Bible says you can't be lukewarm. What do you say to people who think you shouldn't smoke weed and believe in God? Also, have you been on the show before? I've never been on the show before. And um, like everybody's saying, your yeah, sin is your that. sin. And I my sin is my sin. I, I got to answer to God when I get there. And you got to answer to God when you get there. I don't think he going to be worried about me smoking weed considering all the other like things I've done in the world <laughs> that are positive to help people. I don't think he going to. I don't think it's going to tell no So your community about. service is going to outweigh your No. Nah, no. God is a forgiving God. Okay. Period. Brent B. Danity said, I'm from Baltimore as well. West to be exact. Why did you say since you're from Baltimore, then you need a man to provide? Just curious. So what I'm saying is the that dynamic of men from Virginia and above, especially the further north you get, New Jersey and New York, it just gets worse as you travel up the coast, right? Um, Southern men still hit, like dudes down south still have like a different type of respect, a different type of calm um, for women generally than Northern men do. Um, how many providing married kind um, men do you have in your family from Baltimore? Are you asking? Now she got a question for you. How many men do you know that want to be providers in Baltimore? So basically you're saying, are you saying that men in Baltimore don't typically like to provide? I'm not saying that they don't like to provide. I'm saying the idea of providing comes partly still from the Bible and from a family structure. That family structure is more lost in northern areas, Virginia and above, Baltimore, yeah, than it is in the south. So, yes, you're more likely to meet a gentleman who is kind, like not only provide, but is kind and, you know, not wild, not talking, you know, bitches and all kinds of stuff than you they, they, uh, down south than you are in Baltimore or up north, generally okay. speaking. Fair enough, fair enough. All right. Okay. So, did I ask you your three flaws, Sarita? No, you didn't. What are your three flaws? <laughs> so, I'm a bit of a procrastinator. Okay. I'm one of those procrastinators that procrastinate, but then when I have deadlines, I tend to get things done real quick and I'm trying to work on it. Um, I won't say I'm impatient, but like, I'll give someone some effort, but then if I if I don't feel like it's reciprocated, like I, I'll disappear probably a little bit quicker than I should. I'm working on it. And um, overall, I just want to continue being healthier. I'm not where I want to be, but like just overall health, mental health, physical health, you know. Okay. I won't say it's a flaw, but I just want to be strong in that area. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Oh, because I'm a great friend. I'm a great person. Um, I work hard. I do require a man to court me and date me, but I also will buy a shot if we out, you know. Um, we go to the movies, I can pay for the popcorn, but you know, set it up and make some effort. Um, I'm real adventurous. I shoot pool real good. So if you, um, nice on the pool stick, like that would be a good thing. That would be good strength to have, you know? Um, I'm a hard worker and I'm a great mother and a good person. And I just want someone to have a good attitude, positive energy, not trying to be ignorant, mean, or reckless, and just build. Okay. Now, let me say this. Um, Sarita, should he be in North Carolina? He doesn't have to be in North Carolina, but like North Carolina or the surrounding states. Okay. You said the age is 38 to 52. You like to date. Make at least 70K. Could he have kids? Yes, ma'am. I have adult children. <coughs> you have adult children? Yes, ma'am. 
So, I mean, I know uh, most of them at my age are going to have some, a, a child and or an adult child. Okay. All right, Sarita, um, are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? Not yet, but I am going to download it. Okay, I think you should. I think your name is going to be a common name. So do you want to call your name Be More Tipsy? So the <laughs> is a I just realized right? what your name said. Are you tipsy right I, now? That's because my whole government name was on, have registered. So I didn't want and you guys to have my last name. Be more tipsy is my bartending. <laughs> so what would bartender. your name be on the app? What would you make your name to be? Um Give me, give me a good name. <laughs> no, you have a name. You got a name, and don't forget it. Sarita S. That's Sarita S. Mm -hmm. So make it all your first name because Sarita will come up because there's a couple more Saritas. So make it your okay. first name. Where it says first name, last name, make your first name Sarita S. Okay? Got it. And spell Sarita for how you spell it S A R I T A. So it'll be so your first name would be S A R I T A S. Space S. Don't add no space. I'm trying to tell Don't you. Don't add no space. Here. Yeah. So S like Sam, A R I T A, and then S like Sam again. Yes. For the first name area. Okay. Got you. Okay. All right. That will be your name on the Kendra G Singles dating app. Uh, fellas, nice if you want. Nice to meet you, beautiful. Nice to meet you too, fellas. If you want her, go to the app and find her. So download and do your profile right now. Have a good night, y'all. Bye, baby. Kendra G Singles, the dating app is available now on your iPhone and your Android phones. Just go to your Apple Store or your Google Play Store and download it now. Kendra G Singles, the dating app.